I'm going to show you how Mike removed his 3M taped duck belt spoiler since it was off-centered, as well as throw in a couple of my tips. I remounted it afterwards using bolts. You can watch that DIY video in the link in the description below. Now when I removed my own spoiler, I used 40 pound test line, which is probably a little overkill. 20 pounds should be good enough. Just don't try to use dental floss or even standard fishing line because it'll be too thin and you'll constantly find it breaking. Mike's doing this on a warm day, which is perfect, but he should be wearing gloves and using more of a sawing motion. That's better, but he's starting to regret not taking my advice and getting stronger line. When I did my own spoiler, I had it off in about two minutes. Meanwhile, Mike has resorted to using a heat gun and a little brute force to get his off. Oh baby, harder. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it took over half an hour, but success. Now to clean up using a combination of heat on the tape followed by automotive goo gun and a plastic squeegee to prevent scratching the paint. You'll want to use a rigid squeegee like this one, but try to find one without a felted edge. Also, if you can't find automotive goo gun, Pro Power is safe to use as well. Just don't get mixed up and get the goof off brand. Make sure you use goo gun if you value your paint finish. I hope this helps you out if you need to remove your taped on spoiler. I'll put a link to some test line in my video description below so you won't have to struggle like these two. If you haven't hit subscribe to my channel yet, please do so now. And as always, thank you for watching.